Hello and welcome to another edition of Father Dave's Parish Update for Friday, February 19th, 2021. Well, we began our season of Lent this uh, last Wednesday, and uh, but before all things, we want to begin with our prayer today, and we'll continue with our parish uh, building project prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Almighty and everlasting God, empower our parish community for living our mission, to love God, to love others, to make disciples, and to restore all things in Christ. Grant us generous, courageous, and sacrificial hearts for building our future in service to you and to your people. Amen. St. Pius X, pray for us. And then this year, St. Joseph, we ask St. Joseph, pray for us. Well, as I mentioned, uh, we began Ash Wednesday with a bang this year, of course, with a little different procedure for distributing ashes. Um, we had uh, a lot of people come to all of our liturgies. We had uh, we had four masses and one communion service with ashes, or liturgy of the word with ashes. They were all very well attended this year, and uh, people love to receive ashes. Even in the in the new way, we were kind of sprinkling it on our heads. Um, I, I think I came up with a practical reason why they started putting it on our foreheads uh, in the sign of the cross. It's a lot messier actually doing it, uh, sprinkling it on the top of your head. Um, we had a lot of ashes on the floor. We had to you know, reverently uh, pick up after each mass, but, but it was still uh, wonderful uh, to, see, to see so many people come out to celebrate the beginning of a Lenten journey together. This year at St. Pius, our Lenten theme is this, now is the acceptable time. Now is an acceptable time. The idea that this is the moment right now, not to wait, to really look at developing our relationship with God and one another in a deepening way to seek that deeper conversion of our hearts uh, to really be in love with the Lord and to live our lives faithfully. So just a few reminders of some of the activities uh, and, and schedule tweaks uh, for the season of Lent as we move forward now. Our weekday mass schedule uh, is a little bit different. On Mondays now, uh, beginning this next Monday, we'll be beginning to have a uh, prayer service led by the deacons, which will include communion. They may do a form of morning prayer or uh, liturgy of the word, uh, but they'll also have communion. That'll be every Monday at 8.15, our normal mass time, but 8.15 for a communion service. Tuesday through Friday, uh, every other day of the week, we'll have our 8.15 mass. Again, a reminder that on Tuesdays and Thursdays, our school children will be present in one half of the church. Uh, so just so you're aware that that'll be happening. Uh, also, an additional mass on Tuesday evenings, we're making available a 6 p.m. mass. So Tuesday through Friday, 8.15 Mass, with uh, Tuesday evening is 6 p.m. Mass. Uh, to give an extra opportunity for people who are working that can't come to the daily Mass to attend Mass at least during the week, once, uh, once a week. Our weekend Mass schedule stays the same on Sunday. We have a 7 a.m., 9 a.m., which is live streamed, and then the 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Our confession schedule is a little bit different. Uh, in addition to our uh, normal times, uh, we'll have Tuesday evening confessions from 6.30 to 7.30, and uh, that will be right after the, the uh, uh, evening Mass at 6 o'clock. So uh, confessions on Tuesday evening from 6.30 to 7.30. Then our normal times of Friday morning from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., and on Saturday mornings, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. So try to have extra times for confessions, for individual confessions. Again, we'll be in the church, probably in the Reconciliation Chapel. You have the option of going behind the screen or face-to-face -face with social distancing and masking, etc. cetera. So, uh, we will continue to have Friday uh, Lenten devotions this, this year at 6.30 p.m. every Friday. Again, they will be either uh, versions of the Stations of the Cross or some other kind of prayer and devotion, maybe related to St. Joseph. Uh, the first Friday of March, we will also have, at that time, our encounter which is an hour of adoration and prayer and reflection and music uh, so again that and that also will be live streamed on the first friday of march some other online activities uh new and continuing of course we have our sunday mass every 9 a.m live streamed on sunday on our parish youtube channel and i believe you can also link that link to that through our uh, parish web page and our facebook page Every week, we continue to have uh, Deacon Jim Houston offering his weekly uh, scripture reflection on the gospel or one of the readings from the weekend. Dr. Cheryl Fournier continues her uh, weekly uh, online offering of offering prayer. She is also making available this, uh, this Lenten season, especially evening time, for 
praying the liturgy of the hours. And again, you can find information about that on our parish webpage. We also, again, on as I mentioned on Friday evenings, we'll have Stations of the Cross, but we'll also online on our on our YouTube page uh, have um, kind of a pre-recorded Stations of the Cross uh, led by Deacon Jim Houston. So you can uh, see our own stations kind of projected on the screen along with the reflections for each of the stations. If you want to do that at any time, you can uh, get online and, and link into that. Those are just a few of the uh, number of different uh, online and in live uh, activities through this season of Lent that we'll be celebrating. We also, last week, we celebrated uh, our first reconciliation for our second graders uh, who are preparing for the first communion. So that went very well. We had, a, I think, 60 some children. So it was a wonderful turnout with them and their parents. And um, so we keep praying for them as they progress toward first communion uh, and all of our young people who are preparing for sacraments this year. So again, activities continue to move forward here in the parish uh, in this busy season of Lent. We pray that it can really be a time of conversion, as I mentioned before, for all of our parishioners. Ongoing update of our parish building project, our capital campaign initiative. Again, uh, I think currently we are at about $4,938,000, something like that. Um, just uh, again, ever so shy of our $5 million goal. Uh, at least with the numbers I have, it's about $61,000 left in pledges if we can get those. Our, the number of participants, again, have been wonderful. We have a total now of 618 parish households. That's about 35 to 40 percent of our parishioners, which is an, a very good amount. Uh, again, always love to have 100 <laughs> percent, and it's still not too, it's still not too late if you want to again contribute whatever you want, whatever you can. Uh, we just love to have as many people possible have their name as part of this uh, endeavor. Even if all you can pledge is your prayer to make that solid commitment to us and uh, our parish community would it will be all the better. So we thank you for your ongoing support for that. You know, to achieve that last little bit of uh, $61,500, uh, I realized it, it, uh, it's about $1.50 a day. If we can get about 38 people, do a buck and a half a day, uh, which again, I keep saying it's about the cost of a soft drink or coffee at the local uh, quick, quick shop or uh, Starbucks, um, we could easily make that $1.50 a day for three years and uh, we can make that goal. But again, one or the other, we're moving forward with our project. It's all looking good for us. And uh, we'll continue to do preliminary work now with our architects and construction contractors and doing some design work, uh, getting input from our parishioners and staff, et cetera. So again, a, a lot of good things. We're very happy about the project. We, we hope it continues to uh, grow and develop. And especially as eventually spring will, sp spring is gonna spring sometime here, um, uh, we got through our Arctic blast. Hopefully things are on the warm-up now in the week ahead, which we're thankful to see. Um, and uh, before long, we'll be beginning some construction uh, on site. And again, a very exciting time for all of us. On the whole, I really do want to just thank everyone for your ongoing support, your tithing initiatives, your efforts. Um, again, we just continue to do very well in, in offering support of our people and getting the support of our people. We thank you for your commitment, your willingness to give not only your financial resources, but so many of us giving time and energy to our parish community. Thank you. Kind of in that vein, we do want to continue to highlight our year of St. Joseph. And as we move uh, into the month of February, I think our focus is on having a chaste heart. Uh, so one of the great virtues of St. Joseph, uh, kind of a chaste, courageous, virtuous heart. So we ask uh, his continued intercession for us. I invite you to continue your own prayer and devotion to St. Joseph throughout this year especially. To kind of wrap things up today, I just maybe offer a prayer to St. Joseph on behalf of our parish community. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to, to us as well, show yourself a Father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. May God bless you and have a wonderful week ahead.